Hello my friend, today I will show you how to embed JavaScript scripts on your website and in the same time I will show you how to do it the way that will make your website load really, really faster. It can even save about one to five seconds, it depends on how big your website is, on loading speed. So it's very important to do it properly. Okay, so how to do it? You can insert your code, embed to the HTML internally or externally. I will show you now the internal way, how to do it. You are gonna use the script tag like that. And then between the opening and closing tag, you just type the script. So for instance, I will type alert and then I will just type test. This is the most simple script. It doesn't matter what is it, what is that function, what is this parenthesis, what is that, uh, all things around here, that semicolon and other things like that. We will talk about all these things later. Just think about it as a script that's gonna alert the person on the website and say, test, or I don't, I don't know, hello. And now, when we run this code, when we use this here, we want to choose the browser. I'm choosing Firefox and I click play. As you can see, we have got here now, hello, the window saying hello. Okay. And as you can see, then I can see the content of our website. Okay. So that's how it works. We have got the script that is doing something like that. And that's uh, doing it internally, right? You can also put the script later, so for example here, and there are some differences be because of it. But first, uh, let's think about, even thinking about putting something internally. These very rare situations when you want to do something like that. You want to do things like that very rarely when you want to put something into the script in that exact place and only in that situation. Why? Because when you do something like that, that code is not gonna be cached. This is the word, cached, okay? It's not gonna go into the cache, which is a temporary memory of your browser. And because of it, this code is gonna be loaded each time the user go to another side of your website. So it's gonna slow your website, right? So it's a good idea to have it in one place. So for example, like here, and we'll, we'll do it like that. So we want to, the code to be here. We don't want it to be like that. And we want to import it. So how to do it then? Well, we can do something like, type something like script, and then we can use the attribute src, from the, which stands for source. And here we type the source. So for example, like that. And now, we just imported this file here. And when we refresh it, as you can see, we can still see a hello here. Pretty easy, right? So it's the external way of doing this thing. In old HTML, we had to type here also something like type and say that it is that JavaScript script. By, by, by default, now the script is JavaScript from since the HTML5, okay? You don't need to um, think about thing like that anymore. But there is, a, well, still one small problem. What is it? Well, look at this. When I reload this website, you can see hello, and then when I click OK, our website content is loaded. When I put this here, as you can see, our content is already loaded, and well, I can see then, hello. Why something like that happens? Because, well, I will tell you now how exactly your web page is loaded. Firstly, you as a user would connect to your website and then you would download your HTML file. So for example, index.html. And then something what is called a parser which is processing and interpreting everything inside. So for example, tags, when it meets something like script, it stops 
totally executing while parsing other things. So if the script is here, it will go to HTML. Oh, so it is an HTML document. The head. Oh, so I have got here additional information of our, of our website, of, of this website. Oh, a title. Okay, so I have to add the title for our user. Okay. Oh, he's using the uh, the cursor like that. Um, viewport. Oh, so this is for web uh, responsive web design. And oh, script. Okay, so before going here, I should go and execute everything inside it, and then go to the body section. And now you might be like, hey, but this is just one line. <laughs> it's not going to slow it. It doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> in that situation, the website if the website was like that, okay. But now imagine that your website is really big, okay? Really, really big. There is like 500 of codes. And you don't have only one script, the .js. You have got here like 50 of them. What happens? Wow, imagine now something like that, that it would go through all these scripts and then after executing all the things inside, it would load the web page. What would happen? Well, <laughs> your the user would just not see almost anything, right? And after loading everything, then he would see the content of the website, which is very bad, right? Bad for our users. He would just leave probably our website. We cannot allow something like that. That's why most people just put the scripts here. But there is a small problem because when we put scripts here, we do not download them instantly, right? So when the content of the website is loaded, it's gonna be loaded then, right? Well, it's not so bad in most situations, but well, imagine that there are many scripts also, so then they are downloaded a bit later. So that, that's not good, right? And sometimes the scripts are doing something with the layout of your website. So they are changing something, the coloristics, other things like that. They are moving something to other place. And now imagine that the user uh, with the script here would just see the content of your website. And this content is going to change on his eye, uh, eyes, right? He will just look at his website and it's going to change when each of that JavaScript file is gonna be loaded. That's also bad. So, well, like, what to do? How to how to change it? Uh, some people will put some things here, some things here. Yeah, but because of HTML5, we have got something what is called a new attribute, which is which is called async, which stands for asynchronous. I will type this word here, asynchronous, right? And well, it means that this script is gonna be loaded in the same time when or other things are gonna be loaded, right? It's not gonna wait for this script to be executed, which is by the default how browsers are loading your sites. And it's just that, right? You are just putting this thing and everything works fine. But be careful. If you have more than one script, so you have something like that, script one, script two, script two, script three. And for example, uh, your user will download this one first. It's going to be executed first. It's not going to be executed then like this, then this, then this, then bam, 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 right? Because of it, it's good idea to use the word like defer, which is the same as asynchronous but it's gonna make it run one by one, okay? It's gonna um, wait for the sc scripts to execute in that order. So when I do it like that now, as you can see, when I reload this website, we can see that the content is loaded and we can see the hello, right? It's working like that now. If I remove this word, as you can see, we don't have content. We have got content after clicking OK. So this is the best solution you can have to do something like that. And I suggest you to have all files, well, all scripts in external source like that. 
because, well, it's easier to maintain your code then, right? Uh, you have got the JavaScript in another file, HTML in another file, so it's easier to maintain. You you know where is your scripts. It's gonna be cached, so it means that your website is gonna load faster. And well, uh, you have to also remember that do to not to create too many JavaScript files because if you have many JavaScript files, well, it's easier to maintain your project, but your website will also load slower because if you have many javascript files and http protocol is allowing you to only download about two files at once it means that there are gonna be many requests to your server when the user is visiting your website and because of it uh, well that because the requests are the slowest things because you have you know the user have to connect to the uh, server where is your website and then go back this is something what is taking the longest time and when you have many javascript files for example eight you have to do like four times something like that which is maybe sometimes when the server is very far one second just for you know not downloading but just for connecting <laughs> so it's taking lots of time and because of it, your website is gonna load faster. So the best website will be just one JavaScript file. So it would be great if you had many JavaScript files and then uh, to maintain your code easier. And then at the end, when you want to put them at the web, uh, web server, you want to connect them. But you know, connecting something like that every time when you change something, well, it would take much time. So most time, most people do not do it, but you can use something what is called Grant.js, which is a task manager that will do it automatically for you. I have got a course about this thing also, but if you want, well, you can do it also some manual, right? Okay, so the best thing to sum up is to put the script here in the head because it will be the fastest, but you have to remember to put this key, this attribute, otherwise it will not be the fastest. <laughs> And well, uh, you can check how is it supported because you no, know, it's from HTML5. You can go to uh, caniuse.com and type here asynchronous. And here you can type your country. And as you can see, when we go to, for example, Internet Explorer, uh, well, Internet Explorer 6 and 7 is not supported, 8 and 9. As you can see, Firefoxes, uh, all Firefoxes are not supported. But when you add all these numbers, it depends where will you live, right? It's probably like two, three people on 100 coming to your website that will not support it. But you need to remember that you are helping all other uh, users to load your website faster, right? Well, they will see your website anyway if you put it here, right? But <laughs> you will make enjoy your website more for users with the new uh, with the new browsers. I think that users that have old browsers knows that uh, they will not enjoy as much <laughs> uh, the internet as the guys with the new browser. At least you will make them change it faster. <laughs> Your website will load anyway. Okay, that's all in that lesson. Thank you very much.